So, Cheeky Breeze. First thing oh, you, you gotta appreciate is the title. <laughs> How <laughs> semicolon the 2020 election reveals Anthem we... failed. We didn't just die, we were murdered. I like the <laughs> random apostrophes <laughs> and the quotations. Yeah, you just got a semicolon at the beginning. How of semicolon? No reason. <laughs> oh, you, we we, you we, we are <laughs> The we, thumbnail. We are... The thumbnail should be like a rip off of a downward thrust thumbnail, where it makes yeah, absolutely yeah. no sense. I haven't decided on a thumbnail, but I, I will. Uh, you you got options though. You, got, you guys ready? Uh, fair warning. It's not gonna make a lot of sense. You know, that's just uh, that sums it All up. All right. Here we go. I suppose. <laughs> Hello, ah, fellow gamers, and welcome. To Game Developers Essentials Lessons Book. Today, on today, <laughs> we're going to be continuing the discussion on the red car law and how it affects gaming concepts, mechanicals, and journalistic mechanicals of desert islands. <laughs> but first, a closer look at the meta narrative of the new game. gaming experience from the titular developers Nordic Interactive <laughs> Software and Metro the controversial Prime crown Prime. jewel Anthem. Kidding. 2016. <laughs> Anthem learns to teach its lessons by Using supporting the footage. ideas of judicial simplification, which is a professional term, but I can break it down for you. Judicational sampling is the idea that a free society <laughs> does not <laughs> impinge on the actual taxing benefits of localized bankers, <laughs> but that is not is what we've been told. Arguably, Anthem's non-direct cyclical gameplay flow conveniently makes the most money as possible. These are lopsided <laughs> story objectives, and to course correct, they created awful pacing from area to area. And believe me, you wouldn't want that if you were <laughs> 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 the great Bilbo Baggins once said, Anthem feels thin, like bread spread across too much butter. But today's focus <laughs> will be on the effect of Anthem on society. The way in which it has changed our streamlining of interface iterational soft blanking. That is a more <laughs> programming term, and if you are one of you the people who are in the then perhaps you should realize that the your train comments man coming contradict too, themselves and function as a self-righteous get-out-of-discussion-free card. So please get read out of history, because card. ultimately I am a proud member of the intellectual gaming community. <laughs> By Captain Tonald Loke. I would appreciate it if you would recognize my authority and respect it. Because ultimately, again, I get more views on the day episode too. one in any single minute of any single day that passes by than anyone in the lower class has been listened to for their entire lives. <laughs> They are uh -oh. disgusting. But going back to Far Cry, we can realize that perspectives as a whole have been given a revolution. We no longer blindly stumble in video game layout menus, we proudly explore. And through exploration and critical, deductive, intelligent, smart reasoning, blind subservience has been eradicated. But what is blind? subservience. For a simple <laughs> understanding, think of it as the cooked grenade of racing games, Rise or some other perceptively <laughs> anodyne prosaic collaboration-alized statement. As Vernon Sig Willis once wrote Red during his press reloaded. conference of 2019, ye old world be changing. Children runneth the ramparts, the breast of the woketh lane bare, and the sullied build the milketh meat and ivory of the pacific <laughs> Hated no rhyme as she dribbled <laughs> off on the mall of the Dugara. This disproves objective art analysis. And those who don't see it probably haven't Crows heard of man. Nutrient, species malnutrition. But to understand that, we would have to approach the controversial subject of siphon. Clogging. What is siphon <laughs> clogging? Well, as Bilbo Baggin did say, old yeah. games are not new games. <laughs> even if you were the same age when you played oh, them. Yeah, and some that. of these single player games the are the am best. I? They have a huge Call more excellent Duty, approach to World video War gaming. Two. It's fine if you don't know about it, but you must consider that pressing a button more than a singular time can result in a multivariance verb intake, <laughs> as the lower class discuss it, the, the double jump. But who created the double jump? 
and why the double jump was originally founded There's in no video games jumps such as Fester's <laughs> Quest, the critically acclaimed masterpiece Fester's from Quest. the intellectual gaming community supervisor, director, and chieftain, Tonald Loke. Though it is sad <laughs> that many fanboys raged out on Fester's Quest when it's just a game about dungeon warlocks for children. As a result, <laughs> many are asking who Festa is and what his quest was, but nobody is asking how Festa is. This <laughs> is a prompt, particularly evident throughout Pokemon's Ramon. The emphasis of his points do not reflect the points that are of interest to the audience. The potential flaws are incredulously tangential in nature, which is the crux of the argument. Did Anthem fail? Well, that is subjective like because it <laughs> is implied by the basics of communication and anyone who digresses will be self-righteous. I'm not being stubborn here, I'm just right. Real interpretive <laughs> communities are made up of those who share interpretive strategies, not for reading in the conventional sense, but for writing a text. Deft ecological response theorem is for constituting their properties and assigning their intentions. Please read history. But what does this have to do with Red Dead Redemption 2? Anthem is fairly maligned, but there is aspects that nobody is talking about. The first being telekinetic visualization as an extensive rebrand of psychonautilic effluence framing, proving definitively that our little centrist boy isn't a pro gamer after all. And of course, we want the protagonist to win, otherwise, the bad guys do instead. And we don't want that. The second being <laughs> graphics. We need graphics in games, otherwise we can't see. The third and final <laughs> element is the Holy Flood thesis, joining the narrative tripling and subsequent disagreement that there is any factual basis to the truth that he is wrong, but because of simple authentic observation, there is no objective truth. That game looks nifty. And, uh, here's the thing. I fucking no. love Canto Bite. It supports me every day. <laughs> it brings us all together like fun-loving geniuses. And frankly, the fact that it criticized capitalism means that we probably are fun-loving geniuses. Uh, it's saving people's lives, representing wonderful, diverse perspectives, which are probably going to have long-lasting effects long after we forget the movie itself. Overall, I would be huge more unhappy if people found a way to remove <laughs> Canto more. Bite from every copy of The Last Jedi it was ever in. And on that note, if it is new, it is better. As proven in the two latest works by Icelandic author Isredeem oh. Lutetia Hlerp. The first being a fantastic tale of woe in a world set very far in the future. A science fiction drama built by the backdrop of a futuristic world set in the distant future in which you get to look at woman. This taking place <laughs> at the back of a society that determines your social status by hair length. The second being a sort of social commentary on the state of video game culture. A deep look into the impenetrable forests that surrounds discussion <laughs> on a pneumatic cognitive level. Many, including the late, great Billmond Bagface, will argue that these books are objectively without value because they sell toys. And while that is true, they have fallen for the obvious trap. Actual, audio, visual, auto, sub, genres. I know this is a subject that's been talked to death, but this is important. The slimy veneer of quasi-empiricism can be a very disgusting <laughs> tool for nefariously slipping in one's own rotten viewpoint or value. One that you I know might otherwise be challenged as torturistically <laughs> superlative, or perhaps you think that war is just peace with more steps, you dirty, disgusting racializer. The simple fact is that <laughs> microtransactions and loot boxes do not affect the game. They only determine whether the players will win, and that is a small price to pay if you want to succeed, which is ultimately the only thing that really, truly, genuinely, properly, legitimately matters. But going back to Apex, 
Legends, MOBAs were not strictly built upon the foundation of first-person shooters. This is proven when looking at what is one of the most tightly held secrets of the genre. Pushing the aim button through a lot of devilish programming and thumb gymnastics allows the player character to aim at increased accuracy. That feels objectively like the only natural outcome when combining those verbs. It all makes sense. But before you post any comments, just remember, we're all people, no matter how massive we may be. So why was I wrong about <laughs> Anthem? Well, people get Ready, older as time goes on, and if history is implied, then why can the very same species of video <laughs> game be created despite the fandom of Goblin <laughs> and also claiming that the entry in the series was a brand Fat new fighters. and functional direction to take? As my uncle always used to say, provide an <laughs> argument that is based on evidence and uses a logical through line to prove a point. But that doesn't make any sense. And besides, <laughs> Kylo Ren was my favourite character in Rogue One. The film was genuinely <laughs> properly great. There were real spooks, genuine spooks, and it was an actual horror. Because if you die in a movie, then it is no longer a movie, and you can't die a second time because it's a movie in my opinion. I will put out a review for Rogue One as soon as I finish the second half of it, so stop asking about it. You are arguing in bad faith. You never change your mind. You believe that something else is happening outside of reality, and hell, I guess I should just start every sentence with, please leave me alone and let me say whatever I want without being challenged or curtisized. Otherwise, you guys will continue to ask for low-level terminology. Ultimately, you were just embarrassed that I was scared by dark <laughs> souls and you weren't. I mean, how do you not get scared Dark when souls. fighting the Nilonic Beast of Peruda? Check out this awesome <laughs> combo. Slice and dice, brother. Slice and dice. <laughs> when really delving deep into a game like Farming Simulator, you have to consider the graphics, the gameplay, the story, the characters, the multiplayer, the soundtrack, and the AI. Or do you? A lot of critics, including Hagrid the Hellacious, have been saying these sorts of things lately. And I feel we have missed out Hagrid on something far delicious. more important. Tack? Tile Game Feel. This was recently popularized by games such as Fallout 76, and the reason is old games are bad, and the developers of old games are ill equipped to standardize smart gameplay pacing oh, into classic games. Oh For example, God. backtracking, so non scaling <laughs> enemies <laughs> and zones, thermal non compliance, lack of proper safe states, segregation or semantic I feel system. By that A great example of this is I don't know, Uncharted 2, for example, where its history became implied as a result <sighs> of interlaced iteration. Creativity screen. has allowed the passage of time to bring new and interesting formulas on our favorite gaming fundamentals. But that doesn't mean that Trump should be president. Because <laughs> these arguments ignore the presuppositional binaries of logical cognition. You only need to look at appendix fiction, which by definition <coughs> does not allow stylized POVs oh, you to got that one, on a higher level, it's or in the first some one you cases, right. there are minutes. literal ghosts. <laughs> you try to find them, you search for them, and you look for them, and you try to find them, but you can't find them, and they are empty-handed. In the great <laughs> conflagration of 2018, many of us chanted, hashtag, we <laughs> were there, <laughs> but why were we there? But why were we there? <laughs> Anthem is a video game. A video game that excels in modernity. But if you interpret the sixth episode as a sequel to the fifth, it can be seen as a continuation. But a film is ultimately a photogenital element dugong that pertains sonic <laughs> labeling to a sense of mysteric constants. And of course, you can't forget the huge like the amount of complexity it's in the criticism. More. I know it sounds complicated, but this process <laughs> is called driving. And as the great elder Billman Bagel once pontificated, <laughs> Billman it Bagel. is common 
but not too common. I would say if you don't quite get it, <laughs> then you are the critics' stupid Fishing people. Bros Whenever you get the tone. toxic fans coming oh. right at you, remember to repeat I'm so this simple glad that total phrase. Exists. Intentionalized so spectrum failures execute the dramatic function of logistic nightmare beasts, which is exactly how emotional response theorems are formulized. The holy war does not just end because you think a movie about dungeon warlocks for children was bad. This also disproves <laughs> objective art analysis. Though, I was objectively wrong about one thing in the previous episode of Gedelb. Dark Souls <laughs> is not a horror game because genre does not exist. But more importantly, oh. <laughs> as user Whoa. Cruelist Chris pointed out, despite reaching 38 seconds of the video essay, I failed to consider the Elgajibata plus implications of Duck Hunt for the Ness classic and the anti kythera mechanism present in its later levels. To make up for it, I am going to cover it now. Okay, now. Anthem is a complicated game. To even <laughs> understand even a pixel of its beauty, we have to study the ideas of Bilbus Bogoda and his quote, <laughs> Hammers, good or bad. Once you evolve <laughs> to level 16 as a critic in dildos. which you receive the most obtuseness <laughs> ability, you can then be honest. Anyways, guys, I have never heard a smart Anyways, people guys. say that there's no reason why any company would ever pay anyone something for. Most will only purchase a project based on its positive marketing. If there's enough controversy, then I avoid it. As a review by a white person will offer nothing oh. when discussing Big Mama's house, <laughs> as this film is not meant for you. And I would talk about that, but I do not have the space to fit it in. But the actual visual imagination, and besides, he's old, and they are conveniently as possibly to make the most money. And that's the final most insidious aspect of clamping plot hole obsessed film context culture's devaluation of thematic gourmet Nazi propaganda fish hook analysis. Context is a word that criminals use to avoid their sentencing. The court system <laughs> is a puppet master in that it doesn't pull any strings. It would be the same thing as murdering your family and turning it into a flower picking simulator. Real, in-depth, <laughs> nitty-gritty, perspective, <laughs> prescriptive criteria for languilationalized context barriers is dead on YouTube. This is because Dark's Souls thinks Dark its opinion Souls. is a fact and that everyone else's opinion is subjective. But let me ask you this. What makes Dark's Souls better than subjectivity? <laughs> Ultimately, <laughs> even if that? a character doesn't have motivation, Luke and Vader were in love. They <laughs> touched fingers, and Rey failed more than enough. She was sad several times. I think that all that needs saying now is simplicity was hard to strive for because the technology wouldn't allow it. It wouldn't allow you to put in systems that make it easier for gamers. So we relished in the challenge and the obtuseness evolved the evolution of video games ecologically. Oh God, I don't know if you caught my sneaky move there, but that was a direct quote from Bulbous Bungleton himself. I suppose I will close out today's episode with a lesson. When you respond to another creator, you must not use any more than 5% of their their argument, otherwise you do support neo-Nazism. This disproves <laughs> objective critique, and to me, fully bad is when everything sucks. And so, instead of starting discourse over making your blood boil, go out and spread some love, peace, and happiness and love. But if you point <laughs> out the negative traits of something, then you extract fun directly from Mother Universe, and that's objectively bad Mother and you Universe. are failing her. But I will no longer respond to those people, as they have referred to me as a massive. I do not support realism. <laughs> I am sorry that I do not make videos much longer than 10 minutes, but it's an actual active participle choice I make. I am a chronophobe. I fear time. And I would appreciate it if you didn't time shame me. I would like to thank the 
the YouTuber I am correct for proofreading this script, as the first draft had an error in it. But before I go, remember this. The film language of shot reverse shot tells you it's a film, and as a critic, I have decided to shut the door on my past. Right. The use of Jesus. force is not a good thing. Inclusionist propaganda is implied through the whiny and sad non-swagger projectionists. Hopefully non that explains the mechanical nature of the red car law, but we can explore it further next episode. If you liked my video, please subscribe, it's free. If you liked my PayPal, please donate, it's free, and Patreon. Don't forget to ring that subscribe <laughs> donation. Bells are for everyone and the merch store is but one click away. It's free. Audio Cloud is now offering a free shaving Audio kit Cloud. for the first 10 million <laughs> signups when using code GDELB. Make sure to try out their VPN protection service and use their skill sharing programmatory to your own website creating software hardware. Make sure those hard to reach areas are easy to miss. If you're interested in in depth analysis, please check out the previous episode of GDELB Farming Simulators Hidden Connection to Dark Souls Secrets Explained and Here's why, Gadelb. Thank you for watching. Jesus Christ. Dark Souls. <laughs> Fucking nothing Audio said at Cloud all. is now offering a free <laughs> shaving clip for the f- <laughs> <laughs> That was really funny. Yeah, that's, uh, it's uh, funny because it's true. <laughs> so many of the lines are real. <laughs> I know that's because uh, I, I knew where the real one started. Like, started. I'm like, oh my god! That. Like Jesus Christ! Almost all of that is just those are real quotes from actual people that people take seriously. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of total in there, though. I love all the random pauses. And I love that you were able to just quote Tonal directly without even changing a single word, and it's, uh, it just sounds perfect. I like how um, the, oh the names were all wrong, and then it kept getting worse. Like, yeah, we're like dead that. redemption reanimation. I, I personally can't wait till Man vs. Crows is out. That one looked really fun. There was a couple of games in there that are sequels to the first video, and I'm curious if people will notice, but uh, did you catch the, there was Crows vs. Man, then the Crows vs. Man DLC? These are important pieces of continuity. <laughs> But yeah, that's like, it's funny how many fucking references are shoved in there. You could run a channel like this. There's gonna be people out there. Like, how long do you think it'll take people to realize it's a parody who have no idea what it is? Probably about 15 seconds, maybe. You hope so. The fact that he opens with saying, hello gamers, like, that's probably a, a tell. Did, did you mispronounce certain words on purpose? Yeah. Like, as in, just didn't say it correctly? Yeah. Um, streamliming is from one of the videos we watched. I can't remember which one it is, though. Who said that? I can't remember, but it's definitely, it was in my notes. Streamliming.